So we're in mountain pose, feet hip width apart, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lining up. Keep your core activated. So ribs towards your spine and up, shoulders backing down. And then take a moment, reaching your crown to the ceiling and just focus inward, giving into your yoga frame of reference. Spread your toes, inhale, bring your arms to shoulder level, but keep your shoulders down. Exhale, hands to your heart, stretch out to the front, and then exhale, clasping your hands behind you. Press them down, lifting your heart, feel that chest expand, stretch your head back, lengthen through the neck, and pivot over at your hips. Exhale all the way down as far as you want to go. Spread your toes, give your chin around, keep breathing. Exhale, just deepen, letting that back get a good stretch. And then bend your knees slightly, start at the bottom of your spine, keep the chin in as you work your way all the way into the back bend once more. Drop your shoulders, but keep your chin down, don't lift it. Keep stretching through your neck. Keep breathing, stretching, opening the heart. Inhale, upright, release your arms, and just take a moment, feel and have your body response. And then again, arms are reaching out, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and then clasp your hands behind you, the opposite way, so one finger over. Take a breath, stretching, lifting your heart, and exhale, open. Again, deepen as far as you'd like to go. Lift your sitting bones, let the back of the legs get a good stretch. And don't forget to breathe. And again, bending your knees, starting at the bottom of the spine, wind your way all the way into that upper body for the back bend. Stretch your head away, but keep your chin down so your neck stretches also. And then on an inhalation, come up and release into mountain pose. Sides of our body are necks, so keep one arm down and the other one out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away, lean no twist over to the side, and then push the foot you're leaning away from down. So make sure that you're keeping that top shoulder back, reaching out through your head and hand and down into the foot you're leaning away from. And then inhale upright, exhale and release, and we'll do the other side. Coming out to the side, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulders, stretch it out as you move to the opposite side. And again, foot down, hand reaching away, giving those ribs open and stretch. Keep breathing into it, stretching it out. And again, inhale to the top, and down. Shoulders back and down. Stretch the spine apart for our twist. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Ask your elbows, bringing them back by your ears. Sitting bones down, crown high. Stretch the spine apart and exhale, twisting. Take another breath. As you exhale, keep it on over in the twist. Keep your arms by your ears, lift your sitting bones, and don't forget to breathe. Keep the weight on both feet as much as you can. And then staying in your twist, inhale your way all the way up. Again, spreading your toes, lifting your heart, dropping your shoulders and shoulder blades, and pulling the elbows back. So upper body back, then only stretching through the spine. Inhale upright, exhale around to the center and switch your arms. And again, arms by your ears and stretch your spine apart. Exhale and twist. Take a breath, pivot over on that side, and go as deeply as you like into that forward position. Spread your toes, lift your sitting bones, keep your arms by your ears, and don't forget to breathe. And then again, slowly work your way back up in the twist into the upper body back and one more time. So lift your heart, drop your shoulders, and don't forget to breathe. 
and then inhale upward, exhale right into the center of your shoulders down, fingertips up into extended mountain, stretch out through the ground, sink into your feet, spreading your toes, feel the ball of your foot and base of the toe area, and stretch. Get those ribs in and up, get that core supporting your spine. And then come up on one toe and stretch the other side, pressing down into that foot that's right. Exhale that one down, inhale the other one up a little bit more. Again, feeling those ribs expand. And then both feet down, both arms up, shoulder, shoulder blades, sitting bones down, and extending the arm. Take a moment there, just breathing. And then pivot at your hips, keep your arms by your ears. See if you can get parallel to the floor and stretch it out. And then drop into that bow. Take a moment there, lifting your sitting bones, relaxing into it, and deepening as far as you'd like. And then move the hands over to one side of your leg, stretching that twist. Slightly turning your whole body and then turn back to the floor and then rotate to the other side. So you're lifting the hip that you're turning toward just slightly, letting that chest come around and looking to the side, whole spine moving into that twist. And then exhale back to the center. Keep your arms hanging, chin tuck, and again, bring your mind up all the way down into your elbows. Take a moment as you get there, just feel your shoulders, feel your spine a little bit more activated. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Again, extended mountain. Pull the shoulders, shoulder blades, sitting bones down. Pull the ribs in and up, core activating and supporting your spine. Keep that spine nice and straight. Keep the knees pointing toward the toes. And we're going to bend the knees, not beyond the toes, pushing the sitting bones back so you can come into your chair squat. So just sink as deeply as you'd like to go. Don't overwork the knees if you've got knee issues. Remember, just be gentle if you need to. Keep the arms right by your ears with the shoulders and shoulder blades going toward your waist. Take a moment and breathe as you sink into that chair. And then lead with your fingertips, coming back all the way up. Palms out, down to shoulder level, and returning into mountain pose. Shoulders back and down, and take a moment to breathe. And your hands to your heart. Inhale, follow the hands toward the ceiling, looking at your thumbs, pull them back, giving yourself another back bend, lifting you up. Exhale, pivot on over, all the way into right now. And hang a moment, lifting your sitting bones. Straighten your knees, slide your hands up under you. So palms on your shins, just gently pressing in. Elbows, knees, and spine straight, just looking down toward the floor. Stretch the sitting bones one way and the crown the opposite. And then bend your knees, exhale, come all the way to the mat into a child pose transition. Hips back toward your heels, hands palms up or hip down. Relax your shoulders forward. Bring your knees together for that low back stretch if you love it. And don't forget to bring your knees. And then inhale and bring your hands out to the front. We're going to come into table position. So remember, options. You can always circle your wrists, getting that circulation going when you're on your hands and knees. You want the ribs up, supporting your spine so that you're not sagging through that low back. You want the knees right under your hips and your wrists, elbows, and shoulders. Right. Fingers spreading. You just stretch out in your table position. If you need a pad under your knees, you can fold your mat. And if you need a pad under your wrist, you can fold your mat and put the heel of the palm on the floor. That makes it a little less intense on that wrist. Here. So find your position and stretch the spine. 
Keep those ribs up toward the spine and moving toward your heart. So you've got that low back nice and supported. Take a moment there, stretching sitting bones in front, away from each other, shoulder blades always toward your waist. And then take a moment to breathe. Exhale, tension. And we're going to slide the right foot out and bring it up to hip level. So the knee and hip are facing the floor. Everything is even as you're in that position. If you want, you can flex the foot or you can keep it pointed. Either way works fine. And then take the opposite arm and extend it at shoulder level right next to your ear. So you're in a balance pose. Keep that core active, supporting your balance. Exhale. Just relax as you're there. Keep the shoulder blades toward your waist. Feel your body. Get that balance. And then exhale the hands to the floor and the knee back there. Circle the other ribs. Try to have a little circulation before we do the opposite side. So again, Ribs up, supporting your back. Everything nice and straight through your spine. Stretch the hips and sitting bones back and the crown forward. Slide the opposite foot up to hip level and forward. So nice long leg, right at hip level. Flex the foot if you like, or keep it pointed. And then bring the opposite arm up right next to your ear. So left leg back, right arm forward if that's what you want. Keep the ribs up, support that low back, don't let it sag. Keep stretching out through the toes, through the fingertips, or the heel if you've got your foot flexed. Take a breath, keep that working, stretching it out, feeling what's going on in your body. And then exhale, bring the heel and knee back to the foot. Again, circling your wrist. And remember, you can also always put your thumb inside the fist and just use the ring part of your finger down so you don't have any bend at all in those hands. So take a moment there. Well, let's go back into extended mountain. So stretch those, those extended child's pose. Fingertips reaching out. Let the shoulders get a good stretch. Bring your forehead down, tucking it in. Stretch the back of your neck. Hips back toward your heels as far as they'd like to go. Take a breath or two. Finish it now. And then pivoting back up for coming back into table position. So again, wrist, elbows, shoulders, line up. Whatever you want your hands, spread the fingers if they're open. Otherwise, just press into those knuckles. Sitting bones one way, crown the opposite. Get those ribs up and support your back. No sagging in that lower back. We're going to go into our starting position once more in our balance. We're going to do a little something extra. Yeah, so bring the foot back and up, hip level. Keep the hips even. And the knee toes pointed down. And then bring the opposite arm up. Stretch it out, lengthening, breathing. If that's enough, you can stay here, just balancing. Otherwise, bend your elbow and your knee and bring them toward each other to fix in slightly more as you do that. And then extend back out. Get back into your balance, everything stable. Let's do that one more time. So go ahead, bending, bringing the knee and the elbow together, and then extending back out. Everything even in your balance, and exhale the hand and knee to the floor. Circle that other wrist, and get ready because, yeah, you got to balance the body doing the other side. So again, ribs are up, getting that core supported on that low back. Spread your fingers if their palms are open and keep your wrists, elbows, and shoulders on. Knees right under your hips. Slide the left foot back and the opposite one that you did and bring it to the floor. Keep everything even and bring the opposite arm next to your ear. 
Take a moment, stretching it out. Feel your balance. And again, you can stay there if that's a good amount of stretch and work for you. Otherwise, bend your knee and elbow toward each other. Tuck the chin slightly as you bring it in. And then extend it back out. Palm toward the floor, foot toward the floor. And everything stretching. And again, once more, exhale, elbow and knee toward each other. Keep it working. And stretch it back out. Find your balance again, all nice and even, parallel to the floor. Take a breath, stretch it out, and then exhale in the knee to the end. Sink back, circle your wrists. Take a moment to breathe. Forehead down, get that neck stretching. And then inhale and sit up and come into staff position. So as you get into staff position, just take a moment. And remember, if you didn't pat under your knees, they may be a little bit challenged. So go ahead, give them a little rub. Take a moment, press out through your heels, toes up in staff. Keep that core active. Make sure you're supporting your spine always. Shoulders above your hips and crown reaching toward the ceiling. Take a moment there, breathe in. And then slide your heels back toward you. Knees straight up. So don't let them spread apart or sink in together. You want to make sure you're on your sitting bones and we're going to stay on the sitting bones as we do our boat pose. So turn your hands just gently, palms up, keeping the shoulders relaxed. Keep the spine nice and straight. Activate that core for support and lean back just slightly so you're still on your sitting bones, not your sacrum. You go onto your back, you can roll over while we're doing this, and we can do that. So palms up, stretch out through your head, and bring one foot up just a little, or more, or all the way. Spread out through your toes, exhale any tension. If your hip flexor top of the thigh area feels like it's working hard, you can lower the leg. It doesn't have to stay parallel to the elbow. Take a moment and breathe. Just relaxing your shoulders down, feeling that core working a little bit, maybe vibrating even. Stay on your sitting bones, don't roll back. Take a breath, stretch it out, and exhale that quickly. You can stay there or you can take a break and sit up for a moment. So decide what you want to do. Make sure that those shoulders stay relaxed back and down, chest nice and open or active supporting you wherever you are, and palms up next to your legs. Feet are hip width apart, knees still straight up, so remember, don't let them spread apart or into each other. If you have a block, you can put that between your, your knees to make sure that they stay where they're supposed to. Stretch out through the crown, keep that core working, lean slightly back, and activate that core a little bit. Move the other foot up just a bit, or all the way parallel to the floor, if that works for you, or parallel to the leg and stretching it out through the toes, if that one is your preference. And again, personal preference, do what's right for your body, your abs. Keep those shoulders back and down. Keep breathing. Feel that core working. Yeah, we want those abs building up a little bit, seemingly and make sure that you're doing what you need to do to do that. Take a breath, stretch it out, and slowly bring that foot back down. As you get back to the feet on the floor, take a moment to breathe and sit back up if you'd like to. And exhale any tension. Notice what your body is telling you, because you know what we're going to do next so yeah, both together. So do what's right for your body. If that is enough, just keep them barely off the floor. That's perfectly good. Palms up next to your feet or active as you lean slightly back to activate a little more. Stretch out through the crown. Spine stays nice and straight through that. And then bring both feet up a little or more or straight 
or hold your toes it takes a little bit out of those hip flexors and gives you a little bit of support. Stay on your sitting bones. Remember, you don't want to overdo and go back and roll it in. Stretch it out. Feel that core support. It may be vibrating. That's okay. Just do whatever your body needs to do to feel what it needs to feel today. And when you're ready to release, slowly oh, bring those feet down, release forward, relax those hip flexors and spine, and be a little bit into that forward position. Take a breath, just relax. And then inhale, and bring the feet to the end of the mat. And again, into step position. So that core is activated, supporting you. Your spine is nice and straight. You're pressing up through the heels and you're slowly feeling a little to So using that core for a little support. Coming into your required integration, just let your shoulders come down to the floor, relaxing. Bring your arms out to two position, palms up. Sit bones toward your heels, your back gently down, and then either legs straight or bending your knee, bring the right foot to the ceiling. So you can bend it first and then straight middle, or you can keep it straight as you lift that leg. Press the heel up if the leg is straight, this feels good for you. We're rolling all the way to the left side. So if you're coming to the floor, hands together, keep that head down, don't overwork your neck. Bring the foot up into your hand if that works for you. Otherwise, just hold your hand on the right leg and bring your right arm to the ceiling, palm open. Keep it at shoulder level as you lower the back of your hand toward the floor behind you and look in that direction. So the more you hold your foot and push it away, the more your low back is in a twist. Stepping gently if you need to. And the arm coming toward the floor, that brings your we will then up into the twist, let it go where it needs to, but don't force it. Exhale, just any tension, let it go. And for your neck, you're turning your head toward that arm lowering behind you, if that works for your neck. But remember, do what's right for your spine. Take a breath. Exhale and relax, just deepen as you need to. And when you're ready to release, just let go of your leg or foot, roll up to your back, and flex the foot. Keep that core active as you lower the leg slowly back to the floor. Whenever it touches, just totally relax, getting ready, of course, to twist to the opposite side. So again, hands or palms up right at shoulder level. Sitting on toward your heels back, just gently down. And bring that left leg up, either bending at first or straight, whatever works for you. Nice open hip on that extended leg. We're rolling this time to the right side. So again, exhale, keep the head down as you bring the foot down to the floor and your hands together. Hold the foot if that works for you. Or I'll do a nice just hold your leg. Bring the hand above your shoulder, looking up at it. And as you exhale, lower the back of the hand right at shoulder level, not toward your foot or up toward your head, but like that. So that heart area stays nice and open as that arm lowers further toward the foot. It may never make it, that's okay. Just let it go as far as gravity wants to bring you. And then just keep breathing. Exhaling, relaxing, letting gravity do the work, not forcing anything. So always breathing, letting those ligaments release, letting that spine twist as much as it wants to move. Head turning to your neck area, but pushing away at the front or that lower back area. And just spine coming as far toward the floor as it moves. Middle back twist. Keep breathing, relaxing your chair. And of course, on your own, you can hold that longer, but you need a little relaxation. So go ahead and let go of your foot. Roll onto your back, press the back down, flex the heel, use your core, and then just slowly lower that leg. 
And again, as you get all the way down, just let those shoulders release, hands palms up, and release any tightness anywhere in your body, letting your body just grow heavy and sink into that self esteem. Deep breaths in, exhaling, let everything go. Sinking deep into that breath support, softening the muscles, especially that midsection. We did a lot of work there today. And release your shoulders. Hands, palms up. Keep just moving around, let the toes go toward each other, and then just relax your whole leg. Hold your head, release your neck, your jaw, relax everything, shoulders. And go into that surface beneath you. As you breathe more deeply, just let your body sink even deeper into that earth embrace, letting it go completely, softening everything. As your body relaxes, just release thoughts of your body from your mind. And as those thoughts disappear, let other thoughts go as well. Knowing that it's the job of your mind to produce new thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. If it's not, let the thoughts disappear as easily as your birth. No need to focus on the past or anticipate the future. Just let your thoughts flow in and out without attention. And as your thoughts just drift and your body just sinks. Allow your awareness to release both your body and your mind. Just focus inward on that peace within. Fill in your body with peace and your mind with peace. Open up your mind feel peace. This is that relaxation day feels super good. Just stay relaxed as long as you can. But now it's time to get ready for the rest of the day. Just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the mind, to the room, to your body. And just begin breathing more deeply, stretching your body gently, however it feels good for you today. And as you breathe, stretch and over your time. Feel the hug of appreciation is ready. Just bring bones toward your heels, back gently down. Draw your heels up toward your hips and your knees up toward your front. Wrap your arms around. Give yourself that appreciative yoga there. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, that your feet to the floor and roll to the side. This is the front, getting ready for whatever session you're doing today. Thanks for joining me.